Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. Welcome back to our little colony on this doomed planet. Or at least, it will be doomed someday. It's not very doomed now, but we're working on it. Doom takes a while to build up, you know? I think what we're going to need now is we're going to need a lot more help because four people does not Doom make. Unfortunately, before we can get any kind of work on having some replacement androids around here and start building our unstoppable force of metal men, we need to take care of Dagger. And that's going to be hard. Because Dagger... Dagger lost a leg. Yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, the quest expired. We weren't going there anyway. Dagger lost a leg, and that presents a big problem. And it's, it's a twofold problem. The first one we've almost got taken care of, which is we need to have prosthetics research. And... Wait, that's quest. Research. Yeah, as you can see, we don't. We're working on it, but we don't. The second problem is that we have no doctors. We have nobody who is remotely capable of installing a leg. That's going to be a bigger problem. I'll be able to make prosthetic legs until the cows come home. However... Actually installing a leg, that's going to be an entire matter altogether. So let's see, uh, somewhere in here, nope, not skills, stats. Here we go. So somewhere on this list should be medical surgery success chance. 20% from Mark. And we have a solar flare. That's useful. Where are my androids? Oh, okay. Well, I knew that was a potential possibility. We'll just plug them in and see how long they make it. Um, this is going to be a problem, however. Well, not a big problem. Harvest anything fully grown in the area before we lose the whole crop. We do want to save as much as we can. So yeah, solar flares are going to be a bit hard to deal with just because they will shut machines right down. Plus side, I don't really need to worry about getting raided by androids if there's a solar flare because they'll just hit the ground as soon as the solar flare is in play. However, if we get raided by anyone else during a solar flare, we have problems. Yeah, and I guess you can't necessarily get any food out of the paste dispenser because there's no power. Okay, so yeah, the, back to the problems at hand. Dagger needs a leg. We have no one who can install a leg. I don't have a solution for that. Oh, power's back on. They'll get charged up and then they should go retrieve their weapons. So with no doctor capable of installing a leg, I'm kind of at a loss of what to do. I don't know of any good ways to... Hey, hey guys, you want to come get, grab your weapons? I don't know of any ways to train up medical skills. As much as I hate to say it, this would be a great time to have something like uh, Sensory Mechanites come up. Where they could get some practice doing medical stuff, and we wouldn't be losing a whole lot. Either way, um, we're just going to keep an eye out for people coming by that might be able to help. It's possible that we may get some refugees that come by. If we do get refugees that come by again, number one, hopefully they don't break all of my stuff. Again. 
And number two, maybe one of them will have a doctor skill. Alternately, it's possible that using the comms console, we might be able to buy some medical trainers. They're pretty rare, but it's a possibility. Another thing that we could do, however, and this is really kind of a long shot, is under the androids, here we go, we have the Skynet, or Skymind, excuse me, Skynet, that's something else. We may make a Skynet at some point. I make no promises. We are ending the world, as, of course. One of the things we can do, though, is we can make these servers. So, there's hacking servers that let you take control of other androids, security servers to keep them from doing the same thing to you, and skill servers. If we can get these up and running, then it's entirely possible we can simply program an android for this. And that's something that I should probably get started on, or started working on. Because the sooner that I get those up and running, the better. Problem is, running these servers is kinda hard. Because they do generate a lot of heat. Which means I'll probably need some kind of dedicated room. And I wonder if maybe I can do it over here. What if I was to build a wall just straight across here? I could turn this room into a refrigerated room and I could install all my stuff there. I like that idea. I could even put a small section right here. I could leave this unroofed have air conditioners right here on either side, blowing cold air in here, so there's an exhaust right here. That means that the outer wall isn't compromised. I like that plan. That's a good plan. I have good plans. I'm going to go ahead and queue this up. I'll still be able to use a great deal of this room for things like crafting or storage. But the sooner I get started on this, the better it will be. We're doing pretty good as well on power. Between the wind turbines, the solar panels, and a Helixian pump. Yeah, I'm not too terribly worried about power in general. Although it does say right now we're running a 2,000 watt deficit. That's less good. Oh well, things to worry about later. Go ahead and make this wall as well. Door. I'll go ahead and put a door there. And there. Just because I like symmetry. Aurora's ending, okay. Okay, you guys are putting a roof on there. That's great. However, I don't want any roof there. Don't ask me why. I have plans. Alright, let's speed time up. We'll let them work for a bit. Looks like the wind is picked up again, so... We're getting all of our power back. Yeah, 5,000. 5,500, actually. 5,600 watt. It's good times. Okay, so... Android tiers. I guess I can't do anything here yet. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I think after I get prosthetics done, I'll make, well, do I want to make that or should I go for geothermal? I should probably go for geothermal power next, just for the stability. If the servers run out of power, they're going to lose whatever skill points they had. Yeah, simple prosthetics. Good, that's done. Let's get geothermal power started. 
I'd also like to get um, the multi-analyzer done, but that's going to be mm, probably a bit longer in the future. I've got the space for it already planned out, so that's good. Ooh, cargo pods. What do we get? We got shoes made out of human leather. Oh, come on. That's not even fair. Somebody's going to wear those now. Okay. Yeah, so multi-analyzer is going to require gold and plasteel. Plasteel, I feel like I can take care of on this map. Gold's going to be a bit harder to come by. So, I'm not sure... Well, I do have some gold. Oh, never mind. I have plenty of gold. And... A fair amount of plasteel as well already? Oh, yeah. We can build a multi-analyzer. I wonder, how much does that take? Uh, microelectronics. Fabrication requires the multi-analyzer. Well, yes, but where is it? Oh, there it is. Everything gets shipped around here so much with so many mods. Multi-analyzer only takes 800 research. Oh, skip the uh, geothermal power. Do that first. That'll be quick. We'll get the multi-analyzer done. We'll get that built. And then from there... We'll be able to do research even faster. And it looks like we're running out of stuff for them to do. So let's queue up some more slag to be hauled. You guys aren't restricted, right? No, you are not restricted. But you are doing research instead of hauling some slag in. I mean, I'm glad that you're doing some research. Research is good. We also need to do something about this big corpse field back here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I could put a crematorium in here. But I don't have the blocks for it. That's right. And unfortunately, there's no stone. Yeah, I remember now. I thought about doing this the last time, but it's impossible for the time being. So, till then, nothing much that I can do there. Well, we'll just have to deal with any mood debuffs. No one should be going through there that often. That's what we have the robots for. How is everyone else doing, though? How's your moods? Eh, your mood is pretty good. Burning passion for your work? Oh, you're researching. Yeah, you do have a passion for research. Trapped indoors? Eh, I feel bad about it. Um, I know what I can do that'll help. We have a wooden horseshoe pin. Let me reinstall this outside. We'll put it all the way down there. That way, when you go get some uh, rec time, you'll get some outside time as well. See, I am a benevolent being. And you're not doing nearly as well. Stuck indoors, well, we just took care of that. Disturbed sleep. You do live in the barracks. Slept in the cold? It's 51 degrees outside. You're fine. Ate an awful meal? Yeah. Mediocre barrack? Yeah. We can take care of some of this, uh, some of this other stuff, though. If we can get Remifeller up and running and start making things like linoleum floors. They'll be nicer to look at. Alright, so this room is done. And once we get geothermal power ready, we'll be able to plug it right in there and it'll be protected. Till then, we're going to be rebuilding our supply of steel for a bit. 
So I'm just going to let this run, let them take care of business, and catch back up with you in a minute. Okay, so here's something. An exotic goods trader is in orbit. We need to take a look at this. So, who's got my best social? Uh, medical, we know nobody has any kind of medical skills. Who's my best social person? Uh, stats? Social impact, I think, is what I want. And that's going to be Mark. All right, Mark. I'm going to have you call them as soon as you get up. And we'll wait for that. We'll cover some of the things that have gone on. So, we got the multi-analyzer done. Multi-analyzer, right there. It's researched. We built one. We have one. It's good now. Congratulations. This now sums up all the things that I have managed to get accomplished. I'm kind of kidding. Um, I'm going to transfer one quarter of this over to more cotton, because cotton is useful. I don't think that we can quite yet... No, we can't quite yet grow heel root, but we're getting there. Okay, what do we got here? Tell them we got something good. Components, don't need them right now. Advanced components, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for skill trainers? Side trainers? But no skill trainers. Well, one skill trainer, and that's crafting. Not bad. We can't really afford it anyway. I would have had to sell a lot of stuff just to actually get this working. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. So, in the meantime, we're just going to continue doing our research. I've been thinking about expanding the base as well. Sooner or later, we're going to have to make some expansions to this base. With Remitomics and Remifeller... There are two mods that do take up a lot of space. And I was thinking about this geothermal geyser over here. Now, if I wanted to capture that... <laughs> well, I had an idea. And that is this. I could go with a pretty standard-sized room. You know, 12 on the inside so that I can roof over it. Just like I did with all the other ones. And then what if I connected it to the rest of the building? So that looks kind of weird. Kind of janky. But I was thinking if I could extend this back here. That would give me a nice play area right here to do whatever with. I'm not sure. Then. If I were to just... Say, open this up. I could turn this into a new kill box. And there's a rat coming for us. Really? Well, maybe I can have my, my robot stop this, this deadly, deadly rat. Mark, you better go, too. And now a manhunter pack? A pack of manhunting donkeys. A pack of two manhunting donkeys. Does two even count as a pack? I don't know. And given that it's donkeys, wouldn't that be a herd? Well, it's best not to question these things. So, um, we need everyone on the firing line. Oh, good shot, Mark. Alright, so there's one dead rat. Where's the donkeys? Here they come. Deadly, deadly donkeys. Wow. Wow. I said deadly, deadly donkeys, and I wasn't apparently wrong. They can soak up a lot of damage. Is that both of them? 
Okay, that's both of them. Okay, they got a lot closer than I thought they would. We, uh, might need some other solutions for that. Maybe find different ways to slow them down somehow? I don't know. Perhaps if I were to move things around so that the entrance to the kill box was on this side. So that they had to cross the kill box instead of just coming down the wall. In fact, isn't that the way it's supposed to be in general? I think it is, yeah. I think I done made a whoops. That's alright. It's an easy one to fix, though. I just need to copy that wall. Bring it up there like that. And then these can just get moved over here. And there we go. Easy fix. Unless, of course, I go through and build this kill box over here, like I was saying. It's an option. It would... I don't know what I would do with all this space. I could enclose it and use it for manufacturing. I could leave it open and make it a new kill box. It's an option for later. Either way, I'll have to have something to connect this geothermal vent to the base. And this is my preferred way to do it. So... We'll see how that works out. And I was getting close to having er, my steel all filled up, but now I've gone and built stuff again, so it's not. I need to move the horseshoe pin again. Right there. Right there is good. Um... I do have people that are going through this, and I'm not sure that I really approve of that. I think maybe I'll put, go ahead and put a door right there. So that'll give them a, a better out than having to walk through all that. I hope at least. If they still prefer going through there, I don't know what else to do. A male psychic drone. Well, that's unpleasant. It shouldn't be too breaking for him, though. It's a minus 12 to his mood, but... Eh, what can you do? He's going to keep plugging away, working on getting us geothermal power. I saw that your intellect just went up. You're a 13 now. Glad to hear it. My drones are still going to continue to gather scrap. Yep, we're up to 400 steel, so they are now officially done smelting it down. For now, anyway. Once we can get the geothermal generator up and running, they're going to be right back to smelting because that's going to take a lot of steel. I don't remember exactly how much it is offhand, but it takes a lot of steel. So worth it, though. So very worth it. And we are doing good on rice. I wonder if maybe I should switch all this over to potato. And potatoes aren't going to last as long, but they do have somewhat higher yield. Not that it really matters, because we're not eating all this rice as it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We can leave it as rice. Uh, one thing that I do want to do, I want to get helmets. Just because we don't have a lot of protection, and especially these, these androids, they are like Fabergé eggs. They are so delicate. So let's go ahead and have them making some helmets. Uh, dead mechanoids, we don't have any yet. Dead androids, thankfully we don't have any of those yet. Nothing else here that I really think we need at the moment. So, they're just going to work on making some helmets. We'll finish gathering some more metal. I think I'll let them keep up gathering metal until we have about 100 or so. Give or take.
You did make a helmet, didn't you? I thought he did. I guess not. Oh, no, wait, he did. Dagger took it. Who is this? A wanderer. Jennifer. Well, I don't know if Jennifer is going to be your full name, but who are you? A 19-year-old organ farm. Staggeringly ugly, misandrist, bisexual, and completely incapable of violence. <gasps> but look at that. Medical of 10. Oh, this is what we needed. This is what we needed. A medical of 10. Okay, that has changed the game. The game has been changed. Okay, so, uh, Jennifer, you are nonviolent, therefore you have to stay home. But I don't think you're really going to care about that. Everyone else is being turned off of Doctor. I'm going to put you on handle just because you enjoy it. Not that it matters because we're not keeping animals yet. There, we, we do have a way around that one, too. But we'll get there. More importantly, did I finish making or researching prosthetics? I swear I did. Didn't I? Wait. Yes, because it's up here. Yes. Simple prosthetics. Okay. So, um, for this, I need a prosthetics workbench of some kind. Yes? Yes. Prosthetics table right here. Not enough advanced components. But look at that. A bulk goods trader just showed up. Oh, this is all coming together. Mark, drop what you're doing. Go talk. We will sell whatever we need to sell. Okay, we only have 25 silver, so we don't have a whole lot to play with. And they only have one. Oh. Okay. Well, we're buying the one. Or No, wait. We only have one. They have two. We can sell it for 125. It's going to cost us 267. Okay. 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 We can do this. I know there's got to be a way we can do this. So we need to come up with 534. Uh, what do we have in textiles? So we have 289 cloth. That brings down 262. Uh, some leather. Fox fur 206. What else can we sell? A little bit of jade? I'll throw some jade in there. A little bit of uranium. Mm, that's tough, but... I'll throw some uranium in there. Titanium? There's a whole bunch of it outside. Okay. 58. What else can we sell? This side trainer, Word of Trust. I would love to teach Mark the Word of Trust. However, we can't. So, may as well sell it. That puts us up to 99. Okay, what else can we sell? You know what? Let's sell some clothes. We can get rid of these human leather, because no one's going to wear that. Okay. Okay. Steel table. Eh, don't really need that. I wonder, can I save now my cloth? I can save my cloth. So we can still do stuff with that. Okay. The only other thing that I can think of to buy would be stone bricks. And he's got some. Now, we definitely don't need that many. Um, I don't remember how much a crematorium takes. I think it's like 150. So, 150. No, no, not that many. Would put us down to 175. Well, we can sell some cloth. 
I mean, we were going to sell it anyway before. We can definitely sell some now. Is there anything else that I can sell? Oh, have some rat meat. Rice does not sell well. But we could probably part with some. Maybe half of it, roughly. 500. And we're still not selling our cloth, so we'll be able to use that. And we're still coming out of this ahead. I like this. This is a good deal. Buy it. Okay. So that gives 150. And it does take 150 blocks. So. Um... I'm going to go ahead and put this right here, I guess. So we'll get the crematorium installed. You failed building. Oh my God. I cannot believe this. We had one shot at this. You screwed up the one shot. You have my five construction. Why were you even constructing it? Oh, I need to pay more attention to you guys. I cannot believe this. We had one shot. Everything fell into place. We finally got a doctor. We can finally make prosthetics. And you screwed it up. You can't see me wagging my finger at you, but you screwed it up. You have failed me. And if it wasn't for the fact that you are the only person who can do crafting, I would just, I, I would dismantle you. And you know what? Uh, Jennifer, your construction is only four. You know what? I don't even want you doing that. I don't even want you doing that. Harper, you come and build this. We cannot have any more mistakes. Oh, that's frustrating. We were that close. Livestock wranglers? No. And Jennifer, you have, you're unhappy about your nudity. I don't know why you're still naked. We have pants. But I mean, if, if you're going to run around naked, that's your choice. You can wear pants. Harper, how you doing? Your battery level is getting low. But it's not out yet. Come on. Finish building this before your battery runs out and someone else comes by and screws it up. Please? Please hurry? Okay. Wait, that's a Helixian gas crematorium? Ah, oh, I built the wrong kind of crematorium. Or did I? This definitely isn't the, the crematorium I wanted to build, but maybe this works out. Let's connect it to the gas network. And at the same time, let's set this up for cremations. All right, so that's going to be human corpses. That's good. And then this one will be animal corpses. So how much does this thing use? Gas is turned off, yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, gas stored in network. Or gas consumed is only one, one per day? That doesn't seem right. Uh, quest for a monstrous building? No, not doing it. Let's see, maybe it changes while they're burning in it. Nope, does not seem to change. Okay, so basically we have kind of a 
free crematorium, I guess. I guess that works out. So we'll give them some time. They'll clean this up. And that's one more problem taken care of. So we we didn't get our a new leg for, for Dagger. That sucks. But at least we're making some progress. We got a doctor. We're getting the base cleaned up of all the, the corpses that are laying around here. We're getting research done. We're almost ready for the geothermal generator. That'll probably finish up, of course, as soon as I, you know, turn the game off. What is this? Have fun playing EP... No, you can't tell me what to do. I refuse to have fun now. I'm no longer having fun because I was told to. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it off here. I'm, I'm going to leave it off on refusing to have fun doing this. So to everyone who's actually watching, I thank you for watching. And Jennifer is up for grabs. So anyone who leaves a comment in here, first comment I see is going to get Jennifer. So looking forward to hearing from you in the comments. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Till then. Take care.